Mamma Mia, here you go again, throwing drinks at all the people. <laughs> Yo, Mia, you a bold bitch. Cause if you threw a drink on somebody else, like Nene Leaks, Yo ass would've got molly whopped and um, Wendy was about to molly whop yo ass. What's up y'all, this is Hampton Spears and we are going to review The Real Housewives of Potomac, season seven, episode seven, Beef is Served. So apparently, Peter Thomas got some beef with Wendy Osaka. What, what, a beef with a female? Who? But it's business, it's business. So it don't matter about the man or the female. Like, uh, Wendy, Wendy, you tried to, you know, back out of the deal talking about, oh, why do I need to tell some man who ain't my husband where I'm finna be? Well, bitch, you supposed to be in motherfucking business. Yeah, you need to tell them where the fuck you at. Why, why do women do that when they get called out on some shit involving a man? You be like, I don't got no beef with no man. And I, why I need to call a man? And who go to man, to man, to man, to man? And I don't blame Mia for being like, don't do that. Don't do that. See, that's her family. Now you're trying to come across and make it seem like he he aggressive. And da, 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 da. I get why Mia was upset, right? I totally get why Mia was upset. And I get why Wendy was upset. Because Wendy kind of was ambushed. And the information was brought to her in a public sort of fashion that she had to be defensive. So I understand why she was like that. And also, you could see before the dinner, she was very... Um, you could tell she knew some shit was up. Um, and I think, you know, she knows the show. She knows she's at bar one. She knows Peter's gonna be there. She acted all fine when she saw Peter. Oh, I didn't know you were gonna be here. Oh, hey, oh, hey. It's like, girl, shut up. Wendy, you're disingenuous as fuck. Look, you're saying that you wanted a site walkthrough and Peter said, okay, I'll see to it. And he never responded back to you. Now, Peter is talking about that you had a contract, had an agreement, and it's up to you to do your your end of the bargain, but you never did it. So it's kind of like, who lying, you or you? Like, I don't, I don't know who lying, I don't know who to believe. Now, Peter, Peter doesn't have the best, um, you know, track record when it comes to business, um, but um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know who to believe. Like, I don't have a dog in this fight, but I just feel as though, like, Mia, if Wendy would have molly walked you in the motherfucking face, she wouldn't have been wrong. Bitch, you ain't finna throw no motherfucking drink at me. How would you feel if I just threw this drink at your face? All this wine, this wine got sugar and shit all up in your weave and shit. I mean, Wendy said it was wet and wavy, but still, that shit, ooh, that's gonna be sticky. You know what I mean? They got the drinks with all that shook sticky. Oof, oof. So she wouldn't have been wrong. But Wendy, I mean, I mean, this was after you got the drink thrown at you, but you gonna talk about how her and her husband be fucking men and women. I mean, come on now, come on now. And you could tell Mia has been teased about her crater face her whole life because you, that crater face comment really got to her. Every time that Wendy would say crater face, crater face, she'd turn around and be like, you say that one more? You throwing shit. I mean, Wendy really got you out of character, boo boo. You really played into everything, every hand, every hand. And she saw you. She's like, "This is the CEO. This is the CEO." <laughs> and I was just angry with you, boy. No, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. When I'm into, when I'm getting getting in fights with people, I'd be antagonizing the shit out of them. And I be, I would have done the same thing. Look at this CEO. This CEO. Look at her throwing her purse. Da -da -da. I'm like, Wendy, you are. <laughs> But I, I thought I thought it was funny. Um, but listen, before these hoes went to this damn restaurant, they were in this house, this beautiful house. But a lot of these hoes are just spoiled and just Sharice needs her own bathroom because I have irritable bowel syndrome because I'm an old lady and I get constipated and I fart and I snore and I sleep nude. Girl, if that's the case, just get your own hotel, because I don't want to smell your nasty farts. I don't want to smell the nasty bathroom, like, girl, but you end up staying because you you ain't confined nowhere else, girl. You better take what you can get. And y'all, these hoes really be, I mean, any normal person would be excited, happy, joyous to be in a vacation house such as that. These hoes gonna make it seem like it's nothing. Damn, I want to be rich like that too, shit. I want to make it seem like a mansion is an eh. Can I get to that level? Damn. <clears throat> but it's there, you know, that Mia and Peter have a conversation and Peter in, in, informs Mia that um, he has beef 
with Wendy Osaka. So that's kind of the whole thing. She brings that to Giselle, and Giselle basically says that Peter, you know, doesn't really know this girl. She was like, yo, this chick want to do a, a Nigerian restaurant. I ain't really feeling that, but I'm going I'm to see it. I'm going to just, you know, see what is going on, I guess. Giselle, that's a lie, because we saw Peter... Um, and her have like actual meetings about this. It's not like Peter is like, who the fuck that hoe blowing her off? Like, no. Peter obviously has like a business dealing and wants to do something with business. That's why she that's why he has a beef with Wendy. Okay, so it's not like they just have no plan and it's like he's like, who the fuck that hoe is? Giselle, you full of shit for that. Okay. Giselle and Robin, I the hate that you guys have for Wendy is palpable. Like you guys really hate her. And I'm not really sure what happened because I didn't watch too much of last season. But is it warranted? Did you guys watch last season? And if so, like, what what happened between um, Robin and uh, Wendy and, and Giselle? I'm just, I'm really, I'm really just like, huh? Huh. Speaking of beefs that are a little confusing, um, Karen and... Um, What's her name? Oh my God, what the fuck her name is? Sharice, Sharice. They be having a problem, but it's really Karen having a problem with her. Um, look, Karen, let's just say this. Sharice told you, Sharice told you true T. You have a boyfriend or had a boyfriend that you were fucking on the side. And ever since then, you have been spooked and nervous every time Sharice has been around because you know she know all your tea, boo-boo. She know all your tea. That's why you scur. You scur, okay? But what you need to do is start keeping your friends close and your enemies closer, boo-boo. You want to be friend her so she don't put more of that tea out. Because what, what else you got going on, uh, Curran? Come on, Curran. But I honestly feel like... Oh, I'm about to spill this wine. I honestly feel like, Karen, like you're kind of being weak by like just not addressing the problem straight on being evasive like all the, like no it's clear you have a problem like it's clear like lay it out lay it out let's get it done but you want to play this coy game it's like you're just dragging the shit out because it's going to be happening during the reunion anyway so you know i don't know right now i like sharice i do i just i don't know i like her even though she seems high maintenance and i need my own bathroom but I just I like I like a bougie bitch. I like a good bougie bitch. Now Jacqueline and Mia, I mean they best friends. And I guess they act like sisters too, cause that bitch Jacqueline be asking for all her shit, where the tampons, where the toothbrush, where the deodorants, where the this, where that. I'd be like, bitch, go to CVS. It's right there. Or you can get Instacart and they can get all that shit to you. You don't need to be using all my shit. I'd be like, bitch, I don't care how close we is. Get your own shit, ho. Like, damn. But let's go back to that dinner fight. Wendy gets Mia all out of character, and she, Mia, wants to go home. That's how you know a bitch want an argument. When a bitch that is the trip host want to go home, I mean, Wendy, you brought it out of her, and you are antagonistic. But I I, I got it. I mean, it was fair. It's, it's fair game. You guys were going back at it. And I got to say, Mia was the aggressor in the situation. Mia was acting aggressive. She was the one that started the whole physical stuff. If she didn't throw the drink, it wouldn't have got as far as it did. So Mia, this is really all on you. Fucking Robin and Giselle are just gonna side with you because they hate Mia for whatever reason. I really don't know what it is, but Mia, you walking up to Wendy like, Wendy a punk. Wendy can take you, girl. Like, girl, like, you better be careful who you walking up on. I'm like, Wendy ain't the one. Wendy will molly whop your ass, molly whop your ass, and give you CPR right after, okay? Like, Wendy, you're very educated, you're a good woman, you're, you have a lot, you know, just a lot of accomplishments with you. However, I do say, I do think that you are a little stuck up, and maybe that rubs people the wrong way. I don't know, but this was a really good episode, and I want to know what you guys think, and this is the video the algorithm thinks you should watch next.